Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today, I'm excited to tell you all about the 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170K. It's a beautiful couples model with a great outside kitchen and you get all that for right around 2,800 pounds. Let's go ahead and start on the front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. So this one does come with a 20 pound propane tank and cover. As you can see, when it ships to the manufacturer, it's not there. We of course will install it for you. Right behind that, you have rails for your battery box. And then right under here, you see you have a place to go ahead and store your uh, sewer hose. That way it's nice and convenient because this one does not have your regular square two bumper you see on a lot of travel trailers. Again, trying to cut down on the weight. Right up front is your black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way, hopefully it doesn't scratch up your beautiful front end here. Uh, speaking of the front end, one of the cool things about the Winnie Drop, this is one piece fiberglass construction here from the front all the way up on top and back down the side. Uh, big advantage of that is a couple different things. One, it's less seams, less chance for any kind of water to get in, and uh, the water naturally wants to run off to the front and back. If anytime you can eliminate water penetration, that is a great thing. It's one of the big advantages of having these teardrop shaped campers. To make our way to the side, you can see right here your front storage compartment. Take a look in there, plenty of storage, which is nice. Right here is your propane tank cover, as I mentioned. Let's take a look underneath real quick. You'll see you have uh, stabilizer jacks on each corner. These stabilizer jacks work very well. Uh, this is a BAL huck bolt frame, which is an upgraded frame. Yeah, the number one place your frame will rust at is where a weld point is. So by using huck bolts, it eliminates that weld point. Also, huck bolt frame is a lot easier to repair. But with that, you get the BAL jacks. These jacks take about a quarter of the turns that your standard one does. So it's definitely a lot faster when you're setting up and tearing down camp. We come back up, take a look at the sidewall here. This is the cherry red exterior and it's absolutely gorgeous. Winnebago Tobles have some of the best sidewalls in the industry. It's a fully laminated sidewall on here. Uh, you have the aluminum frame, but the biggest advantage is that this is a true poor gel coat exterior. Uh, the reason that's advantageous is because one, you can see the shine and luster now. I mean, take a look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. The other great thing is that you can buff this and it will keep that shine and luster. It's very similar to the way the process they make this, very similar to the way they make a bolt hull. And if you know anything about boats, you know you can buff those and they stay looking nice. It is the same way with the Winnebago Winnie Drop. So absolutely gorgeous out here. Uh, you have the one step that just pulls right out to get into the trailer, nice and easy to do so. And then you have the foldable easy grab handle. Again, you don't get this on many small campers, you know, when they're this size, you're 17 footers, but it just kind of shows you some of the uh, quality components that Winnebago is putting in their towables. You have an awning right up top here. That's nice and easy to use. It is a manual awning, but it's a turnstile. Uh, so what you do, you have this guy right here, it has a hook on the end. You just take that hook, you can set it right in there like so, and then you just turn it. And that's all there is to it. So super simple and easy. Uh, again, unlike your standard manual awnings where it takes two people to set them up and tear them down, not the case at all here. Right underneath that, of course, you have an outside light, and then you have two outside speakers. So if you wanna sit out here, jam out, listen to some music, you can easily do that. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. Uh, sorry for picking up a little bit of wind on the microphone, guys. A little windy out today. I'll try my best to uh, eliminate it on the editing. Right over here, you can see electrical outlet. So if you do have to plug anything in, nice, easy place to do it there. Take a look underneath here. One, what you will see is this has torsion axle. It's an upgraded suspension system, uh, better than the leaf spring, which will provide excellent towability. The other nice thing when it comes to towability, not only is this lightweight, but this unit is also only six and a half foot wide, the box portion. With your wheel wells, it's that full eight foot, but the box is six and a half, meaning that when you're towing with your smaller vehicle, you generally don't have to put mirror extensions to be able to see around it. So that is, uh, again, a nice advantage. Take a look at the wheel itself. You do have the uh, alloy rim there, which is not only looks great, but also helps prevent rust and corrosion. Nitrogen filled tire as well. Right here's a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, it just makes it a lot easier to wash out your black tank. 
rather than sticking a hose down your toilet, you can just hook the hose up right there and you're done camping. A black tank has sprayers built in, it will wash it out for you. So you come around to the back side, take a look at this. This is what makes the 170K what it is. This is your gorgeous rear kitchen. Again, it's not very often you can get something like this on such a short coach. So right here, you have a spot for a TV if you want TV outside. So you have a little bit of storage over here to the side. Refrigerator, that's the most important part in my opinion. You have to have a place to put your pop, your beer, your condiments, whatever else you want. Uh, but that is definitely a nice convenience to have. Then right over here is the pull-out countertop. You see you have like a little bar top right up there. Underneath, a uh, little place for some extra storage if you want to put some cups or something in there. You'll also notice a sink right here. Now it's not plumbed, it's just a wash basin, but that's really all you need. It's nice and simple, easy to use. Plus you don't have to worry about any plumbing leaks down, down below. Then right over here is a two burner cooktop. So if you do want to cook out here, uh, it is simple to do that. And what you'll notice is right down below me is the propane quick connect. That is of course intended uh, for the two burner cooktop right here. But if you have a grill that you want to hook up there instead, you can certainly do that too. Also, if we take a look, you'll see the spare tire is right there. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it is uh, right there and it is easy to access. Right over here, you have a couple other plugins, 30 amp detachable power cord right there, cable inlet, uh, you have your water inlet right there. And then if you take a look right up here on the slide itself, you will see you have your outside shower with both hot and cold. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170K. This particular model is in the graphite interior. Let's go ahead and start off on the slide. It is now fully extended here, which gives you a lot of space in the center of the coach. Right over here is the refrigerator and freezer. See it has a nice little drop down box right there. And what you'll notice right here is this unit does run off both propane and gas and also has automatic switch over. Then right up top here is your convection microwave oven. I really like when manufacturers put in convection ovens for a couple different reasons. One, it cooks faster and it's a heck of a lot easier to clean. And two, it frees up space. By putting your microwave and oven in one, you get the extra space underneath your cooktop for additional storage, which is exactly what they've done here. You see you have two full extension ball bearing drawers and they're nice and big. So you have enough room for silverware here as well as all your serving utensils, spatulas and everything else you need to cook right underneath there. So we take a look underneath the sink here, you'll see this is a large open space too. And if it were me, this is probably where I would store all my pots and pans. Back up on top on the countertop here, you definitely don't have a big countertop in this floor plan, but they do the best they can by at least giving you a sink top cover right here so you can have this for some workable prep space. And then you have space behind the cooktop as well if you need a place to put a coffee maker. Right now, uh, over here, of course, is your two burner cooktop, the one on the left here being your high output. And then when we take off the sink top cover, that will reveal your single basin sink with the high rise faucet. You also have a window here to let in light, and then you have an LED light at nighttime. Uh, what you'll notice, you actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach here, which are great because they're nice and bright. They don't uh, put out near the heat and they use a fraction of the power. So if you are boondocking, uh, the LED lights will allow you to do so for a longer period of time. Right up top, another storage area, kind of have this cool decorative glass. I like what they've done there. When you open that up, you will see uh, up top there is some pantry space. So we take a look in the back, like as, as I mentioned, we were outside, this is a bunk model. So you see you have two bunks right back here. Uh, so, you know, great sleeping space if it's, you know, the family you're bringing or maybe you're looking for something to just take hunting or fishing. This is a great option here too because you have a couple beds for your buddies. You have the kitchen outside. If you want to, you know, cook some fish, grill some fish or something out there, you're able to do that. Right over to the side, you see you have good additional storage. Uh, and they utilize nets on the front, which I like this too, uh, because it's nice and easy to access anything that you need to get to. You will see they've done the same thing right here in this bunk. Uh, so again, just giving you some extra space for folded clothes, uh, whatever else you need to stick in there. 
Now, right over here is the bathroom. Uh, one of the things I always talk about in Winnebago Towable products is how well they build the interior doors. Uh, now, I, I know it may seem silly because it's such a minor thing, and you'll see they have a gap here, uh, but that's not because of poor quality. That's for ventilation issues, just so you know. Uh, but the, the thing about the doors, the reason I love them, as you'll see, it is framed out in wood. And take a look. When you shut this door, it shuts solid. There's not a lot of wiggle room. It's not flinging back open on you. It shuts exactly the way it should. When you take a look inside here, you'll see this is a full wet bath. So the floor is your shower basin. You can see your toilet right next to that, your sink right over here, as well as your uh, hand wand to take a shower. And then up top, you have your fan to quickly dry the bathroom out. Uh, and again, help any moisture escape. Now right over here is also an LED light. You see you have a curtain that goes all the way around there for your shower. Then in the back you have a little holder. You can use this for magazines if you want, or if you wanna put soap and stuff in there, you can do that too. Now I know it looks like regular wall board in here, but this is uh, built to be able to withstand moisture. It's built for that shower. So don't worry about it getting wet. It is supposed to get wet. You'll see right outside here, you have controls for your vent fan. That would be the one right there in the bathroom. Thermostat here as well. This will control your heat. However, this unit does have an AC. You can see that right up top here. The controls are right here on the front. Over to the side is the entertainment center. You see you have the TV here. <laughs> not a huge TV, but it's a small camper. You're not sitting very far away, so it definitely does the trick. Right above that is your Jensen Multimedia Center. This unit is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. This is what controls the speakers inside here as well as the ones I showed you outside. You have your tank monitoring panel right next to that, slide out control here, lights there. Some additional storage here underneath too. So uh, again, you can use this for, for whatever you want. If you wanna throw some flip flops and stuff in there, it's a great spot to do it because it's right by the entryway. Now up front, you have a large U dinette. Uh, this of course is your primary spot to eat, play games, hang out, as well as your primary bed. Uh, so it's really easy. This table right here is movable, which is cool. So if you wanna take this outside, you can do that too. But if you wanna make it into a bed, the table drops down, sits along these rails, fill it in with cushions, and that is your bed, easily big enough to sleep to adults. You'll also notice there's an electrical outlet right down there, as well as some vents. Uh, so it's nice and warm. If you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you can do that there. The other cool thing, this is the graphite interior, by the way, but I do like that Winnebago puts the leatherette on the seats. That way, if you spill anything, you know, if you have kids in this camper and maybe they're not the best eaters yet, a little sloppy, uh, you know, if they do spill something on the seat, it's nice and easy to clean up and uh, wipe away. You'll notice windows on both sides for cross ventilation. A good shelf up top here, so if you want to put, you know, extra clothes or something up here, you can do that. LED light there, too. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170K. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.